We all have those days. We are transported back in time. We have a memory of an event that happened in the past. These can be memories of great things or very challenging things. But many times we can look and see, how do we move through those times? I can imagine a few years from now, we will be looking back on this COVID time to see how did we deal with this? Did we bring our best selves forward and try to make the best out of this very challenging situation? Or did we not allow ourselves to grow and expand during this time? I think this is a very interesting time for all of us to, you know, foster that strength that's inside of each and every one of us. Friday, the 29th will actually be the 10 year anniversary of a bicycle accident I had. And when the first responder found me, I was not responsive. He had to give me CPR. I was then transferred to Vail Hospital and I was there until the Flight for Life helicopter could arrive. They then took me to Denver Health. I have no memory of this time in my life. I was in a coma for 18 days was in the hospital for two and a half months. I had to learn how to walk and talk again. I couldn't even feed myself. I remember I was learning how to talk with people, but I would use the wrong words or I'd call people massage or device when call them by their names. It was definitely a process. And you know, 10 years ago, they weren't sure if I was even going to live, much less if I did, they had told my family they were most likely gonna to have to take care of me for the rest of my life. I feel so honored and thankful that I have a very loving and amazing family and great friends that help propel me through this challenging time. And I think our support system is a huge factor in how we move through the challenges in our day. And with this COVID going on right now, we need to make sure we are supported. We ask for help that we connect with people. Because, you know, we're spending lots of time alone. I've never stayed in my house this many days in a row and not even driven. I mean, it's a different time. But, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, I think, and hoping that we'll move through this as easy as possible. But unfortunately, there's been obviously a lot of, you know, deaths and challenges and different things that people are dealing with that my heart goes out to them. And even though we've got social isolation, we have to be grateful for the fact that, you know, we are still alive and we will move through this challenging time, but we've got to be prudent about how we're moving through it. And I know that, you know, we'll look back on this time and reflect on how did I move through this? And I would like to say that each of us has a strength inside of us that can propel us through this time. And I want you to be conscious of this because do you want to live a life of design or a life of default? You know, yes, this is a challenging time. No one will dispute that. Although you have the opportunity to design different things in your life to allow yourself to evolve and grow through this time. And I hope that you all will take the time to invest in yourself my name is Dr. Serena Bullard and I'm with Catch Happiness. And I actually just released my book, C Cubed, Creating Conscious Connections on Amazon. And I'm very excited to share this with people because in this book, I share the story about me almost dying three times and the lessons that I've learned along the way. I incorporate some science in there to help you see the different things that you can introduce into your life to help you live a more happy life as well as one of passion and purpose because I want you to know that you are here for a reason and that you have something to bring to this world. I hope that you'll be able to check it out. It will be, I will leave the link in the post and I wish for you all to be able to catch happiness on your journey. And when you look back on this time, to know that you did introduce some positive things into your day, whether it's a quick Zoom with somebody that you love or, you know, a dance party over Zoom or whatever it might be, just make sure that you're allowing yourself to introduce some fun into your life because we don't want to, you know, have too much heaviness in our heart. But 
I hope you all catch some happiness in your day.